<laughs> Did I just finish finesse and dispatch? Numbers time. Let's talk numbers. Yeah, welcome to another edition of Trucking with LaShawn Parks, where you guys could have been anywhere else in the world, but you're here with me, and I appreciate that. So in today's video, I'm gonna talk about numbers. Did I, did I just finesse a mega carrier, carriers, shall I say, a mega carriers dispatch? I don't know, it's gonna be up for y'all to, to decide. But today what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go over some numbers here real quick to show you guys how you gotta know what your cost of operation is in order to know when the load is good, profitable, or it's just not even worth you taking, you know what I mean? Because some of the numbers can skew you a little bit to where you're like, ah, oh, that's not a good load, don't want it. When in all actuality, once you run all your complete numbers, the load may hurt you a little bit, but still if your average is where it should be at or what's comparable for what your cost of operation is per mile to operate, then it really doesn't really hurt you that bad, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to go over some numbers for three loads that I was, that I've done. I've done two of the loads already. I was offered a third load and I'll tell you guys the whole situation once we get down on the paper. So let's take a look at it on the paper to help you guys understand better when a load is profitable and can still work for you, even though the rate on it may not be so, so sexy, right? But it really doesn't, it doesn't hurt your bottom dollar or your bottom line uh, really that much, all right? Let's look at it. All right, so I don't have the whiteboard like uh, say Jeffrey Light does. Shout out to Jeffrey Light, what's going on? But what I do is I, 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 I've written this down for you guys. I have all of this stuff putting into a separate notebook, which I would advise that you guys do keep a notebook on deck, right? And to keep up with the loads that you're doing to include everything within the load or needing to know about the load. Uh, also, by the way, this video is being sound sponsored by, or brought to you by, I shouldn't say sponsored because they're not sponsoring me, but the sound production is being um, brought to you by Boya Lavalier Mike. If you're interested in getting one, the sound quality sounds great to you and you're a vlogger or a YouTuber, go on Amazon and look up Boya Lavalier. All right, anyway, back to what we're doing. All right, so the first load that I had, which let me hold this camera, there you go. The first load that I had, I took, um, it was, I was coming out of the terminal. I did hit 74 miles from the terminal to go pick up the trailer and loaded miles was 517, bringing a total of 591 miles complete all around mileage okay the revenue on this load was one thousand four hundred eighty five dollars and seventy eight cents all right which brought the rate to two dollars and fifty one cent almost like two dollars fifty one and a half cent but the four isn't high enough to round up so we just round down to 251 all right so 251 for the rate for this for all miles okay decent load decent load i can do it i can dig it i can do it Second load that I got, I had dead head of 42 miles, um, and then I had loaded miles of 964, bringing it to a total of 1,006 miles all around. The revenue on that one was 241617. Uh, all right. The rate on that one was $2.40 a mile for all miles. So not too bad, I could dig it. All right, so when I completed those two loads, I'm sitting here, I'm looking, I said, okay, so I did a total so far of these two loads for the week at 1,597 miles, okay? Not too shabby. And the revenue on these ones was $3,901.95, all right? Bringing the average to $2.44. Now, once again, this is where the cost of operation comes into play at, because you need to know what that cost is, because if the cost of your operation is $2, just say $2.50, well, this load isn't going to be profitable for you at all, 
right? And if it's two dollars and fifty cent, and this one's at two fifty one, well, you're only actually making one cent <laughs> of profit per mile for five hundred ninety one miles. So it wouldn't make sense to you. Wouldn't make sense at all. So then, dispatch sent me this next load right here as a pre-plan, and it came through weekend dispatch. It's not the original dispatcher that uh, that we utilize, but it's weekend dispatch. So it's always fun to play around with weekend dispatch because you know you always want to push them to the limits because they try to finesse you and sometimes you got to finesse them back all right so they sent me this one load said 34 miles deadhead all right not too bad for 34 miles deadhead loaded miles was 748 miles going into wisconsin which if you guys watch my tuesday editions wisconsin is not a bad place to be for refrigeration especially when you can do like the green bay to juliet that lane has been extremely hot you know getting three dollars and more a mile but anyway Let's talk, let's get back to this. 782 miles all around, all right? All around 782 miles to include the deadhead. The revenue on this one was kind of a problem for me, okay? $960.43 for me to go 782 miles. Now that is a rate of $1.22, well, $1.228, all right? So we could round this up, you know, $1.23, if you will. Still not good enough for me, okay? Not good enough for me. And the reason why I say that this rating is, is not good enough for me is because I know the cost of my operation. I know how much it costs for me to move this truck per mile, okay? Which, I get down to down there. Okay, in a minute. But anyway, back to this. So if I decided to take this load, this third load, how badly would it affect me, okay? How badly would it affect me? Now, you remember off these first two loads, the average was $2.44 to the truck, all right? Now, if I was to take this load and to include it, which it would have got off by Monday, today is Saturday, so I could have got it off by Monday, payroll goes in Tuesday, so I could have got this off Monday morning, snagged up another one, and added more to my revenue, you know, pending that I could have, was able to get it off by payroll on Tuesday. So if I would have took this one, I would have had a total of 2379 total miles for the week, or for these three loads, it would have been at revenue of $4,862.38, it would have brought my average, if I would have taken this load, to $2.04 for all miles, for all loads. Now, I know you guys are going to say, man, that's like a $0.40 cent decrease from the average that you're at right now, opposed to if you would have took that load, you'd have been down $0.40. Cents. True, 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 true. So, I'm going to tell you guys how I tried to finesse... <laughs> how I tried to finesse Prime Dispatch, right? I told him, I said, listen, I'll tell you what. I said, if you give me an extra, well, first I told him on the Qualcomm, I said, you know, he's like, you want to pull this out the east to get over, uh, to get out of the east? I said, not for $1.22. I'm not, you know, I'm not feeling that at $1.22. So then we went back and forth for a little bit. And it was very fun because once again, it's weekend dispatch. I like messing with them because it's not my dispatcher. So I'm going to put them to the test all the time okay because you, you're not dealing with a scrub here you ain't dealing with somebody that don't know his don't know numbers okay because I, I, I i'm that's listen you ever want to try to defeat me make sure that you know you know numbers because i I'm a, I'm a number fanatic i, I just am I, I love it anyway but i told him i said no nope. i said uh let's try for two dollars a mile out of this area right so he came back and he was like ah uh, you know that's gonna be kind of hard to get and i said okay I said, uh, well, what? I, this is the thing I told her. I said, well, what can you get? Okay, what can you get? What can you get out of here? Get out, Matt, I want your best. Okay, I don't want your, yeah, I don't want your average. I want your best. What can you get out here? So then he was like, you know, on cue. Let me take a look. Let me go. Woody woo. So I, I, I gave him a little bit of time. So I gave him about about ten minutes, and I came back on the Qualcomm. I said, I tell you what, if you add an extra hundred dollars to this load and bring this up to uh, uh, $1,060.43, I'll take it, okay, <laughs> Joe was hilarious, so he sent me a message back and had a little smiley face and says, we have already pulled you off of that load looking for another load, but now that he's pulled me off this load, I've been sitting here waiting for the next load for, now it's been about two, two, about two hours, okay, so I just recently sent him a message here on the Qualcomm and says, hey man, do you have me in the penalty box? I mean, <laughs> I, I mean, I just, you know, I just wanted an extra hundred bucks on this. You, 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 you couldn't do that. So, I mean, am I being penalized for, for wanting an extra hundred dollars on this load, man? 
and it's just been fun just finessing them. Me personally, I I don't mind sitting here until I get the the certain type of rate that I want. Okay, and and that's just what is what it's going to be. You know what I mean? I'm I'm not going to move the freight because you know you need it to be moved, or you're trying to get a a person on this to move it because maybe it's been sitting for. A day or two and is this tired of being on the on that person's yard and they're ready for it to get moved so no 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 so you know let's 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 play a little finesse game but anyway let's get down here to re real quick i know i got a couple of people that have been asking me about this and i am going to do this right here a lot of people have been wanting to know about you know breaking down um how much it costs a mile for fuel for you to run your truck okay uh your fixed cost variable cost and my costs are going to be different than a lot of people's okay a lot of people think that that I have a high fixed cost on my operation, which I really don't. I can tell you right now, this is truck payment, this is authority cost, this is insurance, and this is what I pay myself as a salary with me being on this solo truck, okay? And this is what I spend in fuel. I kind of went a little too high on this one. It's really actually like 1100, not 12, but I always shoot for the higher number. I don't know why don't ask me, that's just what I do. All right, and then I got $75 right here as a fixed cost because, or as a veritable, because I do get my truck washed at least once a week. So, and so does my other drivers. So with all in all being said and done, I can run my truck at $1.31, six, okay? If you wanna be technical, $1.31 and a half uh, per mile in order for my truck to be able to run down the road, okay, on a load. That's why I told you guys in a previous video that a lot of you guys don't know how to do this and don't even realize that the cost of your operation is gonna be under $2, but I hear people wanting to always get two and three and $4, and I ain't mad at you, get as much as you can. But you need to also understand that you don't necessarily need to have that number, three, four, five dollars in order for you to be profitable, right? So once again, mine is $1.31 and a half, and he was trying to finesse me on the rate of $1.22, $1.23, nah, no, nah, no, nah, no. Nah. You know, if you give me another 100, we, we might be able to, you know, at least I can make a break even somewhere. You know, in there, I, you know, I wouldn't have been profitable. At least I would have got over to Wisconsin where it's booming at. So, but all in all, I spent about 48 cents a mile on fuel for all miles. Okay, this includes loaded and deadhead. All right, and in order for me to have a break even point where the business doesn't make profit, but of course my salary is right here 600. In order for me to have a break even on this truck, it's about three, about $3,290. Okay, that's for this week. Now, once again, these numbers change weekly, okay? Because you might have some tolls, but this week I didn't have tolls, so you have tolls and stuff of that nature. That may need to come into play in the variable cost, so this may change, you know, week to week. But as far as my team, here it is, truck payment, blah, 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 you know, cost, of, uh, cost to have them on the authority, insurance. This is their salary or their, or their amount of money that they make every week. Like my team drivers is booming. And you got to remember, they're W-2, so this is, you know, they get taxed. But... They make about 43, they make $4,382 to include all incentives, bonuses, per diem is included in this as well, okay? But then I, I figured them to do about $2,500 in fuel, $75 for a truck wash, and maybe $100 in tolls, you know, because they're a team, so. But all I need to run that truck is $1.78 and a half per mile, okay? Revenue, all I need them to do for break even to, to cover all expenses on this end without the business making a profit is $8,925. Okay, this truck normally spends about 50 cents a mile for fuel for all miles to include deadhead and to include loaded. So, and that's pretty much the same standard across the board for both of my team trucks. This team truck is a little bit lower. It doesn't have as high as a truck payment because this is a 2018 truck and this is a 2017 truck. So this one is, you know, 765, 100, 380, same, same salary, 4382, 25, 75, 100, same thing. So this truck can do a dollar 73, almost basically like a dollar 74 roundup. Um, and the revenue that this truck needs to make is about $8,695 for break even to cover all these expenses over here before the business, you know, makes a profit. So if the truck does pass $8,000 in revenue, um, or 86 in revenue, and this one does pass, you know, basically 9,000 in revenue, then the business starts to turn a profit in the same way with the solo truck up here that I'm driving right now. All right, uh, something I do want to point out because I've seen the Wright brother talk about this and he said that this was valuable information that he appreciated, so I want to add this in here as well. When you're deadheading, um, these are pretty much what you're going to spend per mile. Um, 
the cost of fuel per mile when you're dead hitting okay now some trucks if you're getting 10 miles per gallon basically mean that you're driving slow okay the guys that are doing like 60 miles per hour and they're getting 10 mpgs with the aerodynamic trucks they're normally doing about 32 cent a mile worth um for the cost of fuel it's a dead hit there okay if you got nine mpgs you're getting 35 cents it's costing well it's, i should say it's costing you 35 cents per mile to dead hit if you're getting eight mpgs it's costing you 40 cents okay seven mpgs is costing you 46 six mpgs 53 and five terrible mpgs is costing you 64 cents uh to run that truck at a dead head okay so y'all figure out which category you're in now you know i know some people are gonna say oh i'm like 11 well then you figure out the 11 on your own i, I would tell you if you're doing 11 you're about 28 cents so that would be awesome if you're doing now you got the in-betweens where you're like ten and a half nine and a half eight and a half seven and a half you just add on an additional like uh two and a half to three cents in between that so it would you know tell you exactly what it is if you're there so like technically i run about a seven and a half okay so really my number is really not really at that 48 up there that's for this week really i normally run on an average about in the 44 you know um 45 uh 44 and a half because i'm only about seven and a half mpgs all right man i hope that these numbers help some of y'all in some way somehow i just want to let you guys know that sometimes by taking a load like this it's not too bad even though right here it shows bad you know and you'll be like ah right, well that's below my rate but if you was to take it you're averaging out for the week at 204 and if you know a dollar 31 is what you need then you're good you know what i mean my revenue for the week would be 48 62 38 and once again i said for break even is 32 90 so and even with me chilling and not taking this third low right now i'm already at 390195 so i'm already in the green for the business on this truck you know which only needed 3290 i'm already at 3901 so i'm good at where i'm at all right let's get ready to wrap this up so i hope i wasn't talking too fast for y'all man um but it is imperative okay that you guys know your cost okay know what it costs to run your truck um and i know some people are gonna say well how do we figure that out that's gonna be for another video okay the most thing that i could tell you is when you're running a business in trucking and to be accurate with figuring this out you can't include home cost and i know i've said this before about including home cost and I was wrong on that. You know what I mean? I'm man enough to say that you shouldn't add that because then that brings the cost of your operation up even higher. And then whenever you're trying to run your truck and you see a cost of uh, uh, your cost of operation to run your business and you included household expenses, well then now you're you're looking at like a dollar seventy, a dollar eighty, a dollar ninety two dollars a mile. And realistically, you're not running a business. Okay? You need to cut yourself a salary and include your salary into your fixed cost for your operation that's how you do it okay so i will do a, a more in-depth video on how to break them that down as far as trying to figure out your cost of operation in another video all right so that's gonna wrap this video up i hope that this microphone worked out very well for y'all y'all was very clear uh once again this is the boy your mic plugging it for anybody that want to go get one that's a vlogger that does youtube man i think it works very well i tested it out quite a few times and i like the production of it so when y'all see this video it probably will be a couple of days or a week before gats i'm at gats i'll be at gats this year come up holler at me all right so until then y'all be safe and don't do nothing i wouldn't do like be unsafe as always winners focus on winning and losers focus on winners and we win an all day right here at trucking with Loshan parks and before i sign off Parks Motor Group is still hiring, still looking for a team. If you are interested, visit www.drive4, that's F-O-R-P-M-G.com. Put in an application and let's make it happen. All right, salute.